all scripture is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for, for instruction, instruction in righteousness, righteousness, that the man of Yah may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. This is Watchman of Yah. Years ago, I dreamt as I was looking up, I saw the spiritual nature of the church of today. I saw this structure coming down from the sky and it was a very ugly structure and I'll do my best to describe it. I was looking up and I saw this thing, the structure, four square, built with rotten planks, dirty faded hazy and sacks. The structure didn't look safe at all. I mean, nothing was fitted together. The wind was blowing everything apart and it has no foundation. It was the worst thing for a construction. Not even animals would be safe in it from the weather. As I looked on, it kept coming closer and coming closer and I started just sobbing. I was crying, deep sob. And I was, I was saying, oh no, the church is not ready. Oh no, the church is not ready. And the dream ended. And I've kept this dream in my heart for years until some days ago, you know, it just came back and I was to talk about this. I was to speak about this. And you know what most people ignore about Yahweh, the God of the Bible, is that he has never cared about numbers. He's never cared about the multitude, but a people. Now, don't misunderstand me when I say he has never cared. It's never been about the multitude that do him lip service, but their hearts are far from him. However, Yahweh has reserved for himself a people that will not bow their knees to this world. They worship and adore him alone. Their hearts are not divided between holiness and worldliness. True worship of Yah is a total surrender to holiness. Holiness unto the Lord Yahushua. Yah will always have a people reserved for true worship. Wide is the path that leads to eternal hell. And many more are trooping in than that few that are striving through the straight and narrow path. The church age of Laodicea is the way I imagine the church of today. It is a pretending church having a form of godliness but denying the power of it. A lukewarm church that our Lord Yahushua is not coming for. Some of these are already dead as Jude 1 puts it correctly. They are living corpses. And there is no more hope for them. However, for the lukewarm, Yahushua says, Come, there is still hope for you. So come out of these dead churches of Babylon. If you are staying in these Sunday churches, and especially the mainstream ones, and expecting that one day Yahushua will come and rapture you before trouble comes, I tell you that you have been deceived. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Wake up from your drunken stupor as is right and do not go on sinning for some have no knowledge of Yah. I say this to your shame. Yahushua is coming for his bride wearing a garment without spot or wrinkle that is to be free from the stain of worldliness and the wrinkle of the sinful usage of this perverse and wicked world. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and the pride of life is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its sinful desires. But whoever does the will of Yah, Yahweh, abides forever. This is not a message to tickle you. It is the truth that will set you free. If you just humble and receive it. Our Lord Yahushua never preached to entertain people, but to save people and to rebuke sinners. Don't let this message offend you. If you are the one this message is for, do not harden your heart. I am not judging you. This message comes to you in love. And I want you to open your ears and hear and your eyes wide and see. Do you still not discern the times that we are in? For the wise will discern it, but the foolish will remain blind. Hence for them Yahushua will be coming like a thief in the night. They are too spiritually dull to be aware of his presence, let alone his coming. 
and when he comes and you are unprepared enjoying this sinful world you will miss him because only the ready will be gone and unlike your movies the catching away of the bride will go unnoticed because very few will make it as the bride the more will be the guest at the marriage supper of the lamb there will be no worldwide hysteria and the unprepared and the world will be ushered in to the most turbulent history of earth and the temptation to take the mark of the beast there are some of you sleeping now that will be forced awake at that time many will die in a great tribulation this are the guests and some of these will be protected but all those who take the mark of the beast and or worship his image will be damned their names will no longer exist in the lamb's book of life the question to the church now is if you cannot live a holy life now when things aren't that horrible you can still buy you can still sell you can still go to the doctor you can still enjoy daily activities and if you can't live holy now do you think you can live holy then in a time of the antichrist rule when you have to hide and hope you will not be caught at that time there will be only two choices to take the mark of the beast the mark of the damned or die as a martyr for Yahushua but those of you that will rather die for Yahushua's name he will protect from even the pain of death and you will immediately be with him now just not taking the mark of the beast is not enough you have to be saved to either be protected by Yahushua or rescued from the pain of death when the heads of the guests will be cut off they will be massacred in numbers because they believed in Yahushua live holy now while you can be prepared now why you can't be ready now why you can and pray that he rescue you from the tribulation rescue you from the time that is coming upon this earth that has never been experienced before never finally those of you that continue to deny the existence of a god saying the bible is just an old book of fiction i hope that you will actually read it with a new set of eyes because this book is a spiritual book and therefore can only be spiritually discerned if you are not yet saved you'll probably never truly understand it entirely he answered them to you the secret of the kingdom of here has been given but to those outside everything is in parables so that they may be always looking but never seeing always listening but never understanding otherwise they might turn and be forgiven don't be like this become saved accept Yahushua as your Lord and Savior and receive the Holy Spirit and by the Holy Spirit you will understand the Word of God Yah is spirit his word is not carnally understood it's not like a novel or a love story it's a spiritual book you need to be saved you need to accept Yahushua as your Lord and Savior you need to start reading God's Word as your life the only book that determines your morals your life is the Word of God not a man's book but the word of God however the Bible is the only book whose prophecy is fulfilling as promise that part is logical enough for you to understand all you need is common sense you read the Bible some of these things you need just common sense to see it happening and have happened fulfilled prophecies but understand this that in the last days there will come times of difficulty for people will be lovers of self lovers of money proud arrogant abusive disobedient to their parents ungrateful unholy heartless unappeasable slanderous without self-control brutal not loving good treacherous reckless swollen with conceit lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of yah having the appearance of godliness but denying its power avoid such people the bible says avoid such people the christians that you see them pretending living unholy lives instead of you blaming God and saying all oh, these Christians are so fake they claim to serve this God then you get mad at God you start to disrespect the God of the Bible because of the people they bring shame to God you should not hate God for what they do God is holy and righteous 
regardless of what the so-called Christians, the pretended church are doing. You do not disregard, disrespect the God of the Bible because of what you see humans do. God himself in his word said, avoid such people for they are not his. They bring him shame, not glory. So God of the Bible is calling sinners and the lukewarm to repentance. Lukewarm, haven't you brought shame enough to your God? It's time for you to get hot and be holy represents holiness represent godliness in an ungodly world and sinners you are being called to repent because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life do you want to perish because you choose to rebel against the holy God there is a law a heavenly law that will judge all humans and all spirits one day and that God is Yahweh he is the law of the universe whether you like it or not you will be judged for every single thing you have done in your body in this world whether you choose to accept it or not I tell you this right now under the anointing of the Holy Spirit one day you will stand before a heavenly judge a holy and righteous a good God judge and he will judge you for how you contributed into this world what are good or evil God gave us all a choice even the spirits they were given a choice there are good spirits in heaven and there are the evil spirits Satan is a God of all of them I tell you this they will all be judged God is not going to make you like a robot he made you to have a soul you make a choice whether you will love him or hate him loving him is holiness hating him is evil you choose but I tell you you will not escape when you die you will not escape eternity when you die you will face the God of justice and if you are his you will be welcome aboard to join him at home but if you are not his you are following Satan to hell and many of you mock and say heaven is just a boring place I laugh at you how can the God of all creation that created this earth and everything about the universe space be a boring God to have a heaven that's boring I say unto you you are risking your eternity by believing all the lies that's out there against God. No, the Bible says heaven is a place of wonder and beauty and awesomeness. Read the Bible. In my father's life, there are many mansions. If a human being can make a beautiful mansion, what do you think the Almighty God that created humans can do? What you cannot imagine, what scientists cannot discover, what the most intelligent man cannot write in a book. That is what God has prepared for those who love him. Come out of pretending, you so-called Christians, and you sinners, repent. I tell you this, if you die with your rebellion, you will go to the lake of fire and burn for all eternity. For the wrath of God is not to be messed with the same way his love because he loved you so much he died for you he took your place so that whenever satan come to accuse you you say satan i rebuke you yahushua died for me his blood was shed for me i am saved when you are truly saved doesn't mean you won't be tempted but you know the one who died for you loves you and he rescued you from the god of this world he rescued you from sin and oppression if you will but choose him today now people always say these things have happened before it's not new yes bad things have been happening in this world this world is ruled by the evil one so bad things will continue to happen many 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 evil people in this world they love evil they don't want to see good they don't want to see people be righteous they don't want to see children be obedient to their parents they don't want to see women be women in their house and mothers to their children and wife to their husband they don't want to see men sacrifice for their family a husband is supposed to love his wife as Yahushua loved the church and died for the church a husband is not supposed to oppress his wife wife and rule his wife as if his wife is his slave a husband is supposed to cherish his wife and protect his wife and children and children are supposed to be obedient to father and mother submitting in obedience and respect they don't want such a society this is why the world is evil but God has promised the children a society like this in the future when he shall destroy all the wicked eradicate all the evil and only the righteous will remain do you want to be in that world 
because this this time that we are entering in right now is the birth pain those bad things have always happened in this world but you know what they are increasing they are increasing like the birth pain before the child birth they are increasing evil is increasing before the d-day evil we are bound like it has never been before there will be high tolerance of lawlessness and the heart of many will get cold don't let your heart become so cold that you cannot feel the touch of the holy spirit you can neither see or able to hear what the spirit is saying anymore i say repent and come out from among them that corrupts you and become clean true repentance is to first know that you are a sinner that needs a savior and you know that your sin separates you from the heavenly father yeah because he is righteousness he never stopped loving you though but you did when you backslid it and you never did because you never even acknowledged him return to Yahushua with your whole heart you backsliders and become saved you sinners tell him you are sorry and ask him to wash your sins away and accept you and trust him he will he never fails never be ashamed to acknowledge Yahushua before others people should now know why you don't go to the club having sex and fornicating everywhere drinking and getting drunk people should not know why you don't do these things no more people should not know why you don't cheat on your wife no more that girl should not know why you no longer will sleep with her no more they should all know why you don't do that evil no more because you are now saved Yahushua is your savior sin people i don't need to list all the sins you do and you know of you know what sin is go and sin no more do you want to see what the true and holy bride looks like revelation 21 shows you the eternal abode of his holy bride and church then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth has passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from Yah, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of Yah, that is God, is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. For the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give from the spring of the water of life without payment. The one who conquers will have this heritage and I will be his God and he will be my son and daughter's people. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in a lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Then came one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues and spoke to me saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from Yah, having the glory of Yah. Its radiance like a most rare jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with twelve gates and at the gates twelve angels, and on the gates the name of the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel were inscribed, on the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them were the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And the one who spoke with me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city, and its gates and walls. The city lies four square, its length the same as its width, and he measured the city with his rod, 12,000 stadia. Its length and width and height are equal. He also measured its wall 144 cubits by human measurement, which is also an angel's measurement. The wall was built of jasper, while the city was pure gold like clear glass. 
The foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with every kind of jewel. The first was jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emerald, the fifth onyx, the sixth carnelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprus, the eleventh jacinth, the twelfth amethyst, and the Twelve gates were twelve pearls, each of the gates made of a single pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold like transparent glass. And I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord Yahweh El Shaddai and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of Yah gives it light, and its lamp is the Lamb. By its light will the nations walk, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it, and its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. They will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will ever enter it, nor anyone who does what is detestable or false, but only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Do you want to be worthy to enter in? Then hear and do what the Spirit is saying to you. You are the church, not the building. All praise, honor, and glory for this message goes to the Holy Trinity, Abba Yahweh, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKodesh, aka Shekinah Glory, aka the Holy Spirit. Remember, Remember the, Lord the Lord chastises, chastises, which is to correct those He loves. If this message is a blessing to you, like and subscribe and share with someone you love.